All right, how's it going, everyone? This is Jesse, and you guys are on my Facebook page, Painting with Jesse. Hope everyone is ready to have some fun today, because that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Okay, in a moment, I'm going to start walking through uh, the supplies list, saying hello to some people. But first, let me find the feed on the page. Here we go. I got the, let me lower my volume. Okay, cool. Hope everyone's doing awesome on this beautiful Saturday. Um, and I hope you guys are all ready to have some fun. So hold on one second. Make sure you guys, as you guys jump on, <clears throat> please don't be shy. Say hello. Let me know where you're painting from, city, state, country, um, and also who you're painting with. I'd like to know, uh, you know, who's, who's painting with us. So anyway, once again, hello. My name is Jesse. I'm going to be walking you guys through all the, uh, what's up, Julie? Julie Rangel, first one on. Awesome. Or at least first one to say hello. Hola to you. Uh, again, guys, please say hello. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. So we're going to be walking through the steps on Mr. Vincent Van Gogh here in just a little bit. Obviously, Mr. Vincent looking pretty dapper right there with his little bow tie, his little flower in his mouth. Looks like he's ready to go somewhere. Okay, I'm going to be walking you guys through all the steps involved in drawing and then, of course, painting Vincent. For those of you that uh, emailed me for the template, be sure to have that cut out and ready to go for when we start the actual drawing process. Okay, so once again, you do want to have your templates, templates cut out. Uh, don't trace anything until we get to that point so I can talk about positioning on the canvas, you know, kind of where you're going to be putting um, the actual base, right? There's going to be some room depending on the size of canvas you've got, but just make sure that you guys wait for, for that step, okay? Once we get to that point, and it's going to be pretty quickly here, uh, we're going to be drawing and be teaching everybody how to draw every step of the process, okay? We're going to be drawing every single bit on Vincent. For those of you that don't have very much experience drawing, do not worry, do not stress. I want you guys to relax. As long as you guys follow along with me, I promise you guys are going to be okay. Last month, we did Bessie. Bessie, um, for our event, all dolled up. I think it was about a month ago, maybe the first week of last month. If you guys haven't had a chance to paint Bessie, Bessie's, the video for Bessie is still up, so please be sure to go back and take a look, look for that if you guys are interested. What are you guys going to be needing today? You guys are going to be needing a pencil for sure, pencil with an eraser, okay, very important. Um, even if you've got the template, right, you're going to be doing some drawing with me. Paints, I'm using acrylic paints. Uh, you guys can use whatever you've got, crayons even, colored pencils, watercolors, uh, markers, whatever it is that you guys have to paint in the inside and the outside, etc. that's going to be up to you. The basic colors that I'm going to be using. Now, you guys don't have to use these same colors. You guys can have a variety of other colors. Whatever you guys have that works for you is what you want, okay? So, a little bit of red is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using some blue. This is a little too dark for what I'm going to be needing, so I'm going to be mixing this with some white to lighten it up a little bit, especially for the background, okay? I'm going to be painting with a little bit of black, uh, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of brown, and a little bit of white. So those are the primary colors that I'm going to be using. Okay, but again, whatever colors you guys have, that's what you guys are going to use. Okay, so don't stress too much about that either. As long as you've got some colors that are similar, you're going to be all right. I'm seeing a bunch of comments popping through, so in a little bit I'm going to come up, come up through and start saying hello to some of you, so bear with me. Also, I do have some glitter uh, paints that I'm going to be using towards the end. This is all very optional. Let me get close to the camera so you guys can see what this looks like. For those of you that aren't familiar with glitter paints, I picked these up at Michael's. It's a DecoArt Craft Twinkles brand. I got some gold. I've got some crystal or pearl color. And then I've got some red. I, I do have some blue around here somewhere. I'll probably add some blue to Vincent's um, bow tie. This is as long as we have time when we get to the end of this. This is going to be a little bit of a lengthy uh, process. If you guys don't get to finish with me today, please come back. The video is going to stay up. So let's say, for example, you're only able to get through halfway or three quarters of the way or whatever. Come on back today, later today, tomorrow, etc. The video is going to be up for you guys to be able to come back and continue where you left off. Okay, so don't stress if you don't get a chance to finish. Please do not simply leave thinking you're not going to be able to come back. Also. Uh, I want to stress, I'll talk about this again at the beginning, but I want everybody to paint 
do their own version of Vincent. Don't worry about making the exact same Vincent that I've got. Everybody's pieces are going to look a little different. For any of you that did Bessie, if you guys saw all the pictures that I posted, you saw that Bessie was an amazing, amazing painting. So many people sent me beautiful pictures of Bessie. And I was like so shocked and surprised. Not so much shocked, but surprised at the creativity that you guys have. So anyway, again, I just want to reiterate and emphasize everybody's Vincent is going to look a little different. So do not stress about it looking exactly like mine. So let me take a real quick look here at the comments. Uh, just going to go through here really quickly to say hello to some of you that are joining in. Uh, let's see, Heidi Nelson, how's it going? Julie Rangel is from Brownsville, Texas. Awesome, Julie. First, Julie was the first one on, or at least the first one to say hello. Uh, let's see, Talita Smith, how's it going? Wilcox, Arizona in the house with her eight-year-old and her five-year-old. Awesome, awesome, welcome, welcome. A whole bunch of people on here saying hello. Again, folks, do not be shy. And if I miss your hello, I'm going to be going through the comments as we start the process and going through and saying hello to some of you, okay? Nancy Haig from Water, Waterville, uh, what is that? I, I think I need my glasses. Waterville, M-E, what is that? Sorry, maybe I'm, uh, I, I don't know my, my, my geography very well or my uh, state, uh, state uh, abbreviations. Jennifer Lopez is in the house. How's it going, Jennifer? It's been a minute since you were on here, I do believe. So anyway, hello. Uh, Delane Tunnel Jones, how's it going from Virginia? All right, guys, that's enough for the hellos for right now, I think. Really quickly, let's talk about some of the supplies. If you guys don't have these already, you need some brushes. And I'll talk about the brushes here in a little while once we get going. But uh, just uh, a variety of brushes is what you'll need. A few of them, I've got one, two, three, four, five in here. You don't need too many brushes. You can work with what you've got. You definitely need some paper towels. Main, I think that was main. Anyway, or is, or is main MN, perhaps. Anyway, paper towels, accidents happen. We want to be ready for those. I like to use a, a couple of paper plates or styrofoam plates in this case for my palette, okay? Uh, I actually have a few of these because we get, I start mixing colors on these, okay? So make sure you guys have at least a couple of, whether it's paper or whatever it is you're using, regular plates, you'll be using those as palettes where you're gonna be mixing your colors onto, okay? So uh, there's that. And of course, like I mentioned, the pencil, all of your paints. I'm going to be painting on a 16 by 20 inch canvas, like what the original is on. If you don't have this size, don't worry. Uh, we're gonna be talking about how to proportion the drawing to suit your canvas, okay? All right, guys. Once again, for those of you that just joined in, if you guys haven't done Bessie or, or you know, are interested in doing Bessie, uh, that's, back a few videos we did it early last month and the video is still available for you guys to go look look at it and follow along with we're going to be doing a bunch of really cool farm animals going forward every few weeks or so maybe more frequently just kind of depends uh, so stay tuned we're going to be doing a cool rooster a hen we're going to be doing a llama a burro we're going to be doing a horse an ostrich and i know a little pig we're going to be doing all kinds of really cool farm animals so please make sure you guys stick around so you guys can uh partake but all right folks enough talking let's switch things around here i'm going to in a moment i'm going to move the camera forward so you guys get a better view of what it is that i'm doing so get your pencils ready because that's what we're going to start with the drawing part of all of this i want you guys to relax especially if you're new at drawing the vast majority of you that are joining me have little to no drawing experience unless you've been with me for a little while now I've been doing these since uh, I believe it was March, late March or early, early April. I started doing these events. And some of you have been with me almost every weekend since. And so you've gotten a little bit of experience, but even if you have no drawing experience and you're gonna be drawing this freehand with me, take a deep breath. Promise that everything's going to be okay. Just follow along with what I do. Okay, I'm gonna move the camera forward so if you get you get motion sickness easily, avert your eyes for a moment. I'm gonna come in forward and adjust the angle of the camera a little bit. We're gonna have both Vincent and the uh, blank canvas in view. All right, let me see what that looks like on the feed over here. 
So anyway, I'm over here in sunny Southern California. It's a little warm today. I cranked up the air conditioner. I've got a new studio I just moved into, so I'm pretty excited about that. This will be the third video or third live session that I do from my studio, from my new studio. So this is exciting for me. Hope you guys are all excited as well. All right. So let's take a look at Vincent. I always like to talk about the painting that we're doing, what we're going to be. Um, let me see. I'm gonna, I think I'm good right there for now. I need to make any adjustments. I'll make them in a little bit. So a couple of things. For those of you that are going to be tracing Vincent out, okay, what I want you guys to do, we're going to start with you guys first. When you put your template on your canvas, a couple of things to look for. The top of his head, you guys on the, that have the template, you guys have a line that sits right behind all of this hair. You can't see it here, but it sits right back in here. Okay, you want that line. You don't want it too high up, right? You want to leave enough space towards the top of your canvas for all that hair and the horns, if you're going to be doing all that, all that fur, a little wisps of hair coming up off the top of his head. So either way, though, you don't want, you don't want the top of the head too high. Uh, up to the top of the canvas. I've got about maybe four inches from that top edge of the canvas to the top edge of Vincent's head. Okay, so just something to note. And then from the, so your, your cutout, your template sits right here, right? This is where the bottom edge of that template is. So with the same thing there, you don't want to go too far down so you can draw in the body when we get to that point. Okay, so for those of you that have the template, you can go ahead and start positioning putting it on and tracing it. Also, one more thing to note, Vincent, Vincent's head doesn't sit in the very center of the canvas like this. It's moved slightly left of center, just a little bit left of the middle. So if you found the middle of your canvas, which is about right here, his head comes over a little bit this way, about an inch more. So just simply move him over a little bit. All you want to do is make sure you have enough room for his ears, okay? So go ahead and start tracing that in. All right. I'm drinking a little bit of water here, changing it up a little today, a little bit of water, okay? I want to toast to everybody that's going to be hanging out with me today. I want you guys to be uh, relaxed, and your main goal should be to have some fun, okay? So cheers to all of you that are with me today. Thank you guys so much. We're about to get into the drawing part of this. I know it came kind of quick, quickly, and here we are. Cheers to all of you. Thank you so much. Let's have some fun on this awesome Saturday. In a little bit, I'm going to turn up a little bit of music, Facebook friendly music. Okay, but for now, we're going to uh, we're just going to uh, take a little time to talk about where we're going to position everything on the drawing. All right, guys. Here's what I want you to do. Very first thing I want you to do on Vincent, right here. I drew a little dot earlier today on Vincent. This little part of his face is smack dab in the middle of the canvas. Not, maybe not smack dab, I eyeballed it. This is about the middle of this canvas, 16 by 20 inch canvas, okay? So what I want you to do is you're eyeballing this, okay? Again, I don't want you to take out a measuring uh, tape or ruler or anything like that. Eyeball the center of your canvas. Center across like this and center like this. So right about the middle, find a little spot and make a little tiny dot. Okay, no stress. If it's slightly over to the right, slightly over to the left, that's okay. And you want to do this light. Don't don't darken in uh, the, your pencil marks too much. Nice and light. I'm gonna make it dark so you guys can all see it. <laughs> my, my buddy Jeff Dar is on here again. He's trolling me. He says, "How dare you not recommend a ruler?" Jeff has painted. Uh, with me live a few times, and he's uh, he's got a little bit of OCD going on, so he needs to he needs to measure everything. <laughs> don't, don't don't do as Jeff does. Just simply find the middle of your canvas. Give me a little dot. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys about a minute while I turn down the air in my studio a little bit more. Turn it up, I should say. Find a little center, a little dot for the center of your canvas. Find a little spot for the center, and give me a little dot. Okay, and everybody, woosa! Take a deep breath and relax. All right, we got the little center, got the little center, and the next thing you're going to do, lightly, lightly, because we're going to be erasing all this later, 
We're going to draw a line across. The middle of our canvas vertically. And then this is the middle vertically, right? This is the middle line. Okay, now we're going to draw a line. We're going to divide the middle of our canvas down the middle just like this. So vertically and horizontally. And don't worry, again, we're going to be erasing these lines. These are just lines that are going to help us place all of Vincent's face parts. Okay? So <clears throat> a little dot down the middle, and then give me a line across, up, across, and up and down. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. What's up, Melissa Martin? Martin, how's it going? Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, Jennifer, what's up with Jeff? What's up with that Jeff guy? What's up, Juna? Kriti, Kriti, how's it going? Third time here, awesome, fantastic. A lot of, uh, lot of people coming back to paint some more with old Jesse. Awesome, I really do appreciate it. Must, be, must mean that you guys are having some fun, which is what I want. Okay, line across, line down. This line, this little dot, sits right here on Vincent's face, okay? What I want you guys to do next is take a deep breath. <laughs> the people with the templates, you guys want to be tracing out just the head, right? I don't know if some of you guys might have gone through and maybe cut out the eyes, cut out the mouth and the nose parts. You guys can go and start filling those in right now. But if all you did is the outline of the head, that's all I want you guys to do right now is fill that in, okay? Uh, in other words, trace that out. And then when we get to the point where we're, we're going to be, I'm going to be drawing what's on the inside of the face, that's where I'm going to cue you guys in to start drawing with us, okay? So, okay, guys, little dot, this little dot right here represents this little spot on Vincent's nose. What I want you guys to do, again, I've got a 16 by 20 inch canvas. So, if I was to measure the distance, and again, I might balling this, from the top, this little dot to the bottom of his chin, it's about three and a half inches, about. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to mark that off on this vertical line that I did, okay? So I just marked that off. And I don't want this really dark, but I'm gonna darken it up a little bit so those of you at home can see it. But you wanna make that line nice and light. Okay, so that's the bottom of the white part of his chin. I'm adjusting my lights here a little bit to make things a little brighter. Again, folks, please do not be frustrated. We're gonna be having some fun. I want you guys to relax. Your Mr. Vincent is going to look a little different than mine. It's gonna be different than whoever's painting with you, okay? So don't stress. Let's have some fun. All right, so that's the bottom of the chin right there. Again, it's about three and a half inches down from the dot, approximately. Next thing that you're going to do, across from the dot, we have about maybe two inches, and that's the side of Vincent's cheek. So we're gonna go like this, about two inches, come across, just mark that off. And I'm just using these little lines, right? I'm just marking off spots on the canvas. What's up, Jody Yothers Drange from Montana? How's it going? All right, all right. What's up, Audrey Tsai? I think you've been here before. Hello, how are you? Okay, again, this little line here represents the side of his cheek over here, okay? Now we're gonna come over to this side, the other side. What do we got from the little dot to the other side of his face, we got about two and a half, three inches. That is about three inches. So I come over and I do this. Eyeball it, folks. Eyeball it. There we go. Just marking off the little spots. Okay? For the drawing part, you most definitely want to try and keep up, right? Don't worry. When the drawing, when the, we've drawn in the head, the shape of the head all in, you're going to get some time to make adjustments. About a minute. <laughs> <laughs> about a minute, maybe two, to make some adjustments. So don't stress too much. This is all in pencil. We're going to be able to erase it. We're also going to be able to, uh, to cover up some of our pencil lines with paint. So I don't want you guys stressing too much. All right, so we got the sides of the face. We got the bottom part of the chin right here. Well, let me make sure that everything's connected still. And I got power to everything, so I'm not losing any charge during this whole thing. We've had a couple of... Uh, of problems in the past where some of them have been uh, my fault, some of them have been problems with Facebook, but I want to say this really quickly as a reminder, if for whatever reason 
the video ends abruptly. All of a sudden you see on your screen, hey, this video is no longer available. Please give it about four to five minutes to refresh your screen and I will be back. Every once in a while we get technical difficulties, something kicks us off of Facebook, <clears throat> usually my fault, um, but I promise I come back. Okay, so if we're not done with the video, if we're not done with the painting, if we're not, if I haven't said bye to everyone, we're not, we're not done. Okay? We're not over till Jesse sings. And you guys don't want to hear that actually. So all right, here we go. Bottom of the white part of the face or the chin, sides of the cheeks, right here. Okay, this is what we got. What are we gonna do next, Jesse? Well, we're gonna mark off the top of the head. And the top of the head from the little dot, again our little guy right here, is about seven inches about six and a half seven inches okay and the main thing you want to be careful with is that you have enough space on the top for the little tuft of hair at the top and his horns right for those of you going to give vincent some horns you don't have to everything on vincent is optional okay so here's the top of the head so we got the sides bottom of the chin top of the head nothing to it folks nothing to it just kind of play it watch Follow along and you guys will be okay. I promise you, you guys are going to be all right. Okay? Have fun, folks. Have fun. I want to stress. I want to stress that everybody's pieces look a little different at the very end. Okay? And I'm going to ask for you guys to send me pictures. You guys have been awesome about sending me pictures of your stuff. Um, and I really, really enjoy looking at them. I'm a little behind on posting the stuff that you guys send me because I've had a really busy month um, with the studio move and there's all kinds of stuff that have been going on um so i'm a little behind on posting but i promise you the stuff that you send me for vincent i will be posting up because i know this is going to be a fun one it's a really popular one and uh yeah so definitely send me some of that stuff all right jesse so what's next well we're going to draw the, the widest part of the head next right up here where the eyebrows are widest part of vincent's head and this is about seven inches if you were to do this right from top Actually, sorry. So if we were to do this from the top, top of the little um, dot to the top of the head, we got about six and a half, maybe seven inches. Right, that's this. This is a little longer than that. Okay. So all you're going to do is from the top, right here where you have this line for the top of the head, you're going to come down about an inch and a half, maybe two inches, because again, I've got a 16 by 20 inch canvas, so you have to gauge a little bit. If you've got a smaller canvas, yours is going to be a little bit less than that. If you've got a bigger canvas, you're going to go a little more than that. So about an inch and a half, two inches from the top there. Give me about, about seven inches like this. And you mark them off. Remember his face is a little bit left of, or slightly this way of center. Okay, so make sure that you adjust for that. This line right here should be further over than this part of, the, this part of his face, right? So you've got this part of his cheek. This line right here where this brow right here is should be a little further over to the side, closer to the edge than this line is. And then this line right here, same thing, a little bit over, but a little bit less, okay? So again, his face is slightly over this way of center. But these are whiter than these are, whiter, all right? All right, give you guys about a minute on that. I promise once we get through the drawing part of it, it's not gonna be it's gonna be like another maybe, maybe 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. There's no giving up. Also wanna emphasize, there's no giving up, okay? You guys start it, see it on through. Even if it gets a little frustrating, I promise you guys, if you see it through, you're gonna be okay. I know it can be frustrating. Okay, I know it can be frustrating, but do not worry, same thing, have some fun. All of you that did Bessie with me can attest. I drew the entire thing with you guys, right? And you guys, for those of you that stuck it through, man, you guys did some awesome stuff. So no giving up, okay? All right, here we go. So here's what we got. We got the sides of the foreheads, we got the top, we got the cheeks, and we got the bottom of the chin. Now we can connect everything. Here's what I want you to do. Notice a couple of things. Top of the head. Top of the head is probably about this wide. Wait, sorry, let me, let me do something here. Top of the head has a couple of little bumps. You don't see them because they're behind the hair. Okay, so what I want you to do is this. Give me a couple of little bumps, top of his head, okay? From there, we're going to angle down to the brows, okay? We're gonna angle this down. I might have to turn the canvas towards me a little bit. I will in a moment when I start doing all the checks at the end. 
I'm going to draw a line that comes down and angles down. Okay? And it comes and meets. In this case, I adjusted it a little bit so it comes down and meets a little further than what I did with this line. I just want to make sure that this line angles downward like this. Okay? If it's not steep enough, it's not going to work because that's going to be really wide. wide. So I want you guys to angle that line down, but I want you to come out and meet where you guys mark this off, right? So if I was to bring this line down, it would meet right about right there. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Angle this down. Okay. So it's raining in Washington, huh, Jennifer? Cool. So did you guys have a whole bunch of uh, fires over there too, or, or what's, what's going on? S.J. Murphy, Murphy Eau Claire, 58 and overcast here in Maine. Burr, it sounds, yeah, it sounds pretty chilly. Awesome, Michelle, you just finished Bessie. How'd it go? How'd it go, Michelle? Make sure you send me a picture, okay? So uh, Michelle Maynard finished Bessie a little while ago. Pretty cool. All right, so we got the angles of the top of the head to come down to meet where the brows are. From the brow part right here, you're just going to come down a little bit on each side, right? Over here, you can angle it inwards a little. Okay, and so from here, from the little corner point, it angles downwards and in just a little bit as this is going to angle in to meet this line over here, which again is about right here. So, top of the head, slope down, and then the angle down, downward. Okay, this one's at a slight angle this way. Don't worry too much about that. Just give me a couple lines that come down. Okay? Once you've got this line right here, you're actually going to bring that inwards. So that comes down like this. It's gonna come and almost meet this line right here. Okay, almost. So we got this line that angles down. It comes down and then angles in. Those of you with the traces, if you guys want to uh, maybe start filling in some of those lines, Things on the inside, if you cut out the eyes, you cut out the nose and the mouth, some of you may have. I know in the instructions I sent out, I didn't say you needed to do that. Um, but some of you, I'm sure some of you guys did it. Um, you guys can go ahead and start drawing those in if you haven't already. Okay, we're almost done with face shape, and then we're going to start filling the inside in. If you guys are waiting for that part, just relax and drink whatever it is you're drinking. If it's alcoholic, just don't get too crazy. We want to be able to see you guys stick around to the end, okay? So, all right. This line comes in. Now this part here, this right here, what I want you guys to do is you're gonna give me a little bit of a curve, a little bit of a curved line, and that is this guy right here. Then connect those. So this line comes in, curves back out a little bit, and then curves right back in towards the chin, okay? So here, comes in, curves in towards the chin, and then we're gonna connect that here in just a little bit. Okay, so, so this right here is this right here. This is this. And I know this is a little more exaggerated on mine, the one that I'm doing right now, than on the original Vincent, but that's okay. We're going to make adjustments in a little while. Once you're here, you're going to bring this down. But what I, you're going to bring this down and connect it to the bottom of the chin here. But watch what I do first. As I come down, begin to come down, I'm going to curve it back out one more time. That's this part right here. Okay, that's part of his mouth. I'm gonna bring it out a little bit, come back down, and then we connect it to the bottom there. Just like that. Okay, so we're here, brought it down to here, start to bring it down, and we're gonna get we were going to connect it down to the chin, bring it out, in, back down to the bottom of that chin. <clears throat> nice and easy. Just do as I do. Watch me. And play along. Now, we're here at the bottom of the chin. We're going to bring this across. We're going to angle this up so that it connects to this part right here. Whoops, actually, we're not going to do that just yet. This is this part here. Okay, so, sorry. So, this is this part of the cheek. This is this. So, from here. Other side of the face, we're going to bring a line that comes down a little bit. Almost straight down. Almost. 
In a moment, we're going to curve this down, and that's going to connect to the chin over here. Okay? So I'm going to give you guys a moment to catch up. I know I might be going a little bit on the, on the faster side. So I want to give you guys a little bit to catch up with all of this. Ah, you got the smoke from California and Oregon. Got it. <clears throat> got it. Don't forget, folks, if you don't get to finish with me today, the video will be up for you to come back and continue wherever you left off. Don't stress. But I'm going to ask you, whether you finish today, tomorrow, the next day, send me pictures. Send me pictures. Also, for those of you that are um, able and would like to help uh, support the page, which is going to be coming up with a lot more fun stuff over the next few months, weeks, and months. I do have a virtual tip jar. It's in the description for the video. You can Don't look for it now, unless you can see it right on the screen. I'm not sure where you're viewing this from, but if you guys are interested in tipping your art tender, the information for my PayPal, Venmo, Zelle, PayPal, Venmo, and Zelle are on the description of the video, okay? All right, everyone, moving along. From right here, from this line, we're going to bring this down and it's going to connect to the bottom of the chin. Okay, right here. And then once you've done that, you're going to connect these two lines, but give me a little bit of a curve. There we go. I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes to do all of that. When you're done, make sure you look at your overall image. Do you need to make any adjustments? <clears throat> Do you need to maybe you know make a, make some corrections? It's okay to have some pencil marks. Okay, uh, having pencil marks when you're drawing is no big deal. We're going to be painting over most of those, but in a little while, once we're all done with the painting, with the drawing part, we're going to erase some of these extra lines that we've got. Okay. Rebecca Suzanne asks, do you have a barn painting on the class schedule? I sure do. Okay, it's coming next month in October. I have a really cool barn painting to do. Um, I've already kind of sketched it out. I got a really cool little vision for it. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a kind of a maybe more slightly more wintry scene, but um, not sure just yet. Might be more, might do two of them, a fall one and then a winter one. So be on the lookout for that. If you already like the page, you'll get the notifications every time I post something new. If you haven't liked the page yet, make sure you guys uh, do like the page so you guys get those notifications, okay? But yeah, definitely got a barn one coming up. A really cool little barn piece. So all right, folks, so we got the outside of his face all penciled in. Anytime that I complete part of a drawing, I will take a little step back, which is what I want you guys to do. Take a little step back, look at your overall image. Okay, compare it to the original. Again, you're not looking to have an exact piece. Just kind of gauge it and go, okay, where do I need to make little adjustments? Is my face a little over to, the, to one side? It doesn't matter if it's right or left, um, as long as you have space for the body. Some of you I know are gonna get a little creative and maybe do a different kind of body or a skinnier body or your body's gonna be angled to the other side. So uh, opposite of what the original is, it's all up to you. But I, what I want you to do is take a look at it, take a look at the overall uh, drawing that you've got right now and make some adjustments if you need to. All right. While you guys are doing that, oh, let me promote tomorrow's event. Tomorrow, we're doing this awesome, awesome early harvest piece. Check that out. How cool is that one? The event, if you guys haven't seen this yet, the event is up. It's been up for a few weeks now. This one's gonna have quite a bit of people on. It's the most popular piece so far that I've done from, from the people that are interested in it. We got glitter on it. We got some really cool colors in there. Anyhow, I'm gonna be teaching you guys, there's no template for this. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to draw it, paint it. <clears throat> so yeah, so no template. But anyway, the event is up. Look for this in the, uh, just look back in the page uh, events that I posted. You'll find it. They go back through the archive looks shouldn't be too far far backwards in the archive so take take a look at that and you'll see the information for that okay so we got Vincent's face <clears throat> all outlined in 
Those of you that have the traces, that did the traces, here's where you guys come in. Sorry it took so long, but here we are. Okay, so this part of his chin. So first off, everybody stretch out a little bit, relax. You guys made it this far, <clears throat> you're gonna make it all the way through the end, no worries. This part of his chin is right here, right below that. Vincent has, he has a triple chin. So here's his chin, he's got it, or this could be his throat, part of his throat. But it looks like he's got a little bit of a triple chin going on. So we're gonna draw this in here, this part right here. So right below here, maybe come in a little bit from the curved part here. So you're just gonna come down, just gonna follow his neck, his chin a little bit, move over to one side, come on up on the other side and connect that just like that. Okay, so that's Mr. Uh, Vincent's double chin. <clears throat> Again, just come on down from one side, curve it over and come on up to the other side. All right, next thing that I want you guys all to do, you guys see this part of his mouth right here? Kind of curves in and comes up. That's this guy right here. Okay. Right here, that's where that, this little part comes in like this. If you don't have too much of a pronouncement on this part of the drawing, just kind of look where the little dot is, come down a little bit, move over to the side. Right there is this part right here. We're going to come up with a little line that comes up. So come right here, little line comes over, comes up. Okay, and we're gonna, actually we're gonna bring that all the way up and over. Up, inwards, and then all, all the way up. And notice I didn't cross this little line here in the center. This long vertical line we did at the beginning, we didn't cross that. <clears throat> okay, once you've done that, we're going to do the other side. Okay, this part right here first. I want you to look at the little center line that we created, right? This line down the middle. You're going to come over just a little bit over to the right, a little tiny bit. You're going to give me a nice little almost vertical line. Watch when I'm drawing, folks. I hold the pencil towards the back near the eraser, okay? Nice and loose. I'm not doing this. This is for more precision drawing. This is very loose drawing so I'm using a very loose way of holding the, breath, the pencil. Once I've got this line here I'm gonna come up curve this out that's that part where the white is and bring that over connect that to the top of the head as well. <clears throat> so in a moment we're gonna bring this line down. It's gonna curve out and drop down and then it's gonna to connect to this part of the chin, the bottom part of the chin, okay? So here, line comes out, flares out a little bit, comes down, and then we curve it back in and connects to the bottom of the chin. Probably no, a little more curve right there. So again, folks, we did the trace. This is where you guys come in. <clears throat> You guys also want you guys want to make sure you're following along, right? Okay, so we've got all of this in place now. All the white part. Okay, all the white part of the of his face. What you're going to do next, from the little dot, hopefully you guys haven't erased the little dot, you're going to come down about two inches, two and a half maybe, okay? And you're going to give me a little line that goes like this. Okay, that there is the top of Vincent's mouth, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to take that line, curve it up at the top, and then I'm going to bring it over all the way to the other side, almost connects to the edge. And then I want to do the bottom part. Nice and easy. Okay? Nice and easy. 
Don't overthink, folks. Have fun, have fun. I want you guys to have some fun. And if you guys are drinking something, time to take a little drink. Oh, I did say I was going to turn on some music, didn't I? So when I turn some music on, it's got to be Facebook-friendly stuff. In other words, it's, it's stuff that Facebook makes available. Um, in other words, I can't, I can't go and uh, put my own jams on because Facebook, will, a lot of it is copyrighted, obviously. So Facebook will go and block the video. So, genres. Let me tell you what the genres for Facebook music are. Folk, Western classical, blues, holiday, Middle Eastern, and Latin. I can do all genres, but I don't want to get into any trouble if there's any kiddos painting along with some of the music, um, some of the lyrics in my pop-up. So I'm just going to stick to folk music. And then moods, I'm going to select... Uh, there's happy, groovy, bright, dreamy, scary, and romantic. We're going to start with bright. And then here we go. Let me check the volume on this thing so it's not too loud. All right. We're jamming. We're jamming with Facebook music. All right, everyone. So we got the mouth. We just put in the mouth. Let's draw a little line down the middle, curve it over to the back. Uh, a little lower to the bottom part of the lip, so the teeth on top are larger. Okay, and then we're going to give Vincent some chompers by drawing little lines down and across. I'll lower the music in just a moment, I know it's a little loud. So we gave him some chompers. I'm gonna give you guys maybe about maybe about a few seconds, a few more seconds on that, and then we're gonna we're gonna come in and put in his nose. Vincent's nose is coming up. Yeah, Jennifer, the smoke it's cleared up a little bit over here, but yeah, it's been a crazy few. Uh, last couple of weeks or so with all that smoke from the fires that were going on. All right. This, we're going to do this part of his nose, Vincent's nose, from the dot. We're going to come down about an inch. Okay, here's the dot. We're going to come down about an inch, move slightly over to the right. That little guy right there is this right in here, a little corner of his nose, this little line that I just drew. And we're going to bring this down and over. And then it's going to come up on the other side. That there is Mr. Vincent's nose. Or at least the start of his nose. You don't have to make this little point down here just yet. We can leave that for the paint. Just give me the shape, general shape of the nose, and we're good to go. From here, we're going to make some eyes, a couple of eyes, okay? So here, the we just did the nose, we're going to do the eyes in just a moment. Just a couple of things, the eyes sit pretty much cross from each other unless you want to make Mr. Vincent, you know, a little, little bit cockeyed. Um, but one eye sits right here, where this little flat part of his face is, side of his head, we're going to do a circle, it's going to be more, more of an oval, slightly angled oval. And then I'm going to do one to, on the other side, slightly angled over. For those of you that are doing the harvest painting tomorrow, we start at 1 o'clock. I'm oh, sorry, 11 o'clock. Time's a little different. 1 o'clock tomorrow, okay? One. Uh, sorry. Oh, my God. 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. Pacific time, 11 a.m. Pacific time. So you guys be here for that. 11 a.m. Pacific time, right? Yeah, I think that one's going to be a pretty popular piece. Got a lot of people interested 
They vindicate, a lot of people indicated that they're going to go. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Two eyes. Slightly oval, slightly at an angle like that. Ears are next. Actually, we're going to do a little, the little pupils on the inside of Vincent's eye. Little pupils. Just like that. Ears are next. Pretty easy on the ears. Okay. You just want to make sure when you start to draw, they come down from the top little corner here. They come down to the left. Come down. Curve it down a little bit. And it's up to you how far down you want to go. But this ear comes down a little further than his second chin on the original. So as long as it's kind of similar to that, we're good. Bring it up, narrows up a little bit, curves in, and connects to the top of the other side. Sorry, to the right next to the top of his head, right? Where the, this line straight down. Sorry, I'm distracted by the music. I'm trying to lower it at the same time. Sorry, sorry, I had to lower that a little bit. It, looked, it got a little louder than I, than I wanted it to. Anyway, so of course the ear comes back and connects below where we started the first line here on top. So it comes down, over, and you want to bring it back up. So that's one ear, then we're going to come over and do the same, the same thing on the other side. Just want to be careful you don't go, go too far over. We're so close to the edge. This ear doesn't have to come down as far as the first one. There we go. Nice and easy. So we're done with this part of the drawing. I want you guys to take about two, three minutes to get caught up. Analyze your Vincent. Look to see where any adjustments need to be made. The horns and the hair and everything else don't get added till later. So don't worry about that. I'm going to look at my Vincent and make some adjustments here. Some little adjustments, just to kind of match the original a little bit more. But again, no big deal. <laughs> Vincent looks frazzled right here. He's, 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 having, a, he's having a rough day. About to get into uh, drawing the body <clears throat> so make your little adjustments take a look right look to make sure that everything's okay I might have adjust I might have exaggerated on this guy a little bit just a little bit so again for those of you that are interested in more farm animals we got a rooster a hen in no particular order, a rooster, a hen, we have a little pig, an ostrich, uh, we're going to do a llama, we're going to do a horse, a donkey, a bull, and who knows how many more other, how many other animals we're going to make. Okay, this is coming over the next weeks and months, so make sure you guys are tuned into the page, make sure you like the page once again so you get those notifications. All right, everyone. Yeah, mine, okay, so Michelle, mine looked like dog ears as well right now. It's no big deal. Once we add the horn and the hair, uh, we start to color him in, he won't look like a dog as much anymore, okay? But it's, if you look at mine, he looks a little bit like a dog too, right? Uh, I was going to mention that earlier and I, it slipped my mind, but yeah, he's, he looks like a dog right now. Don't worry about that too much. Once we make some changes to the top here, it's gonna, he's going to look a little different, okay? So... Don't worry about that too much. We'll fix all of that as we go along. Next thing I want you guys to do, we're gonna make the outline. We're almost done with the drawing part of it, folks. We're gonna draw the edges of Vincent's body. 
starting with this line right here that comes down. Okay, so that starts about right here on his second chin. Okay, or his little throat. And we're gonna come down, comes out a little bit, curves out, curves back down, and then curves away and down towards the edge of the canvas. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, okay? It starts up a little higher, doesn't it? So this right here with this little point where we started this line down from, it's gonna be a little bit higher up. Maybe from the, right here, right from where the, this curve goes up, right from that little corner. We're gonna bring that down, starts to come straight down almost, and then it curves out. This is the, his, his back the top of his, uh, his back, right? And then it could curve down into the edge of the canvas. Don't worry about the little tail. We're not gonna do anything with that just yet. He does have part of his throat or triple chin, actually it's part of his throat right here. So we're gonna go ahead and make that, just mark that in nice and light. But I hear you, Michelle. He does look a little bit like a, like a, like a dog. Yeah. Jennifer says hers looks like a skull. Yeah. He, there's a, there's something bony about about Vincent. And I think kind of goats in general, right? When you look at their faces, they they have a little bit of a skull like appearance. Back a few years ago, I used to rent a property on some acres and. Uh, um, the owner of the property had some goats, a couple of goats, and goats are funny, right? They eat everything, chew on everything, but yeah, they're funny looking more than anything else. And Vincent is no exception, although he does look a little dapper with his bow tie and his flower. Okay, so we got the back that comes over and down. We got the front of, uh, or the, the side, the sides drawn in, okay? For now, all we're gonna worry about is the bow tie. You're gonna give me a nice big circle here towards the top of his neck. Nice big circle. A couple of sideways triangles, kind of sideways triangles, or kind of triangles. Nice and easy. For those of you that haven't painted with me for a little bit, maybe a couple of weeks or so, you guys see that I've changed the format a little bit. I'm starting to include where I have the original painting next to the new painting that we're doing. See if it makes it easier for some of you to see, envision what it is that we're doing. Okay, let me know what you guys think. Jennifer, um, Michelle, I think you did Bessie in the other format, right? It wasn't, the, Bessie was done a little differently. Those of you that have painted with me before, how does this format work out for you guys? Let me know. All right. So, as far as the drawing part of this, we are done, okay? Uh, for now, we're done with the drawing part of it. We're gonna get right into the painting. So, take a look at what you've got. Make sure you, you haven't missed anything. I'm gonna start getting my paint for the background ready. Whatever color you're going to be using is up to you. I'm gonna stick to kind of the light blue that I've got going on right now. Probably a slightly different shade, but I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna mix that here really quickly. Um, I've got this dark blue and some white that I'm going to mix together to produce that color or a color that's similar to that. I'll show you guys here in a moment what that looks like for me. Any of you that might be new to acrylic painting or maybe some of you that are just kind of hanging out watching the process, not necessarily painting and are interested in kind of you know, do, doing your own thing or learning a little bit about painting. This is how I'm going to do this. I have one of my mixed plates. Okay, I got dark blue and some, some white. I'm going to take, first I need a paper towel or two. So I take a paper towel, I take, I'm using uh, this one inch brush to do my mixing. When I switch over to start painting the background, I'm gonna grab a bigger brush. Okay, so this is a one inch brush. Simply, I, I come over, I take some, I take some white and I move it over. Most of the white that I've got on the, on the plate, bring a little bit of blue over. The darker the color, the more, the stronger it is. So when you introduce it to a light color, you wanna add a little, little bit at a time until you get the color that you want. 
right? So here I'm going for a light blue. And I want to mix enough so I can cover my entire canvas, or at least, at least the entire background around Vincent. And I might stick to this lighter color. I kind of like that. There we go. I think that's the color that I want. For those of you that are painting a different color, or if you're matching my color, or trying to match the color, it's just a light blue, but if you're painting a different color, that's okay too. Right? Up to you guys what color you use. So I'm going to get right into it. We'll get right into it in just about one minute. So be ready for that. Yeah, Kriti, I know this one's a little tougher. This one's definitely a little tougher. Uh, but again, don't stress. Simply relax a little bit. You guys will be okay, I promise. This makes for really good practice. Also, you can always go through the entire process now and then come on back and try it again later. Uh, the video is not going anywhere anytime soon, so you guys have plenty of time to come back and try it again, okay? But this is definitely a little bit on the tougher side, and it also uh, will help you stretch a little bit if you're not used to this kind of drawing and painting, okay? Yeah, this tutorial is a little bit, for, you know, a little bit, uh, a little bit challenging. And I understand if you guys get a little frustrated, but again, I ask you guys not to give up. I know we've lost a lot of people from when the, when the video first started. I think I had about 38 people at one time or so, or 38 viewers. That means devices, right? So it could be that um, some people were just kind of stopping in to see what this was about, et cetera, et cetera. But if you guys start, I recommend you going all the way through. All right, here we go. Here's what I do first. Same little brush. I'm going to paint around the outsides of Vincent first. Just kind of create an outline all the way down and around. <clears throat> hey, Audrey, you got a question or a comment? Yeah, folks, don't be shy. Ask your comments. Put your questions down below if you guys have any problems. Please put them in the comments. I want to know what you guys feel, what you guys are thinking. If you guys missed something, you guys would like for me to repeat something. Actually, I'm going to switch to a smaller brush for this part. A little smaller so that I can have more control. The smaller the brush, the better control we've got. Okay, all the way around. So again, I'm just drawing all the way around the outside. And then in a moment, I'm going to switch to a bigger brush and we're going to fill in the rest of the outside of Vincy. The background. Even up here where we're gonna put horns in and stuff, I'm not too worried about that right now. That's all going to be added in later. So go ahead and just outline it. Outline them all, all the way around. Once you finish with the outline, we're gonna go ahead with a bigger brush and fill them in. I'm actually going to stick to my little one inch brush. I should do, this should do the trick. Now watch what I do here with my brush strokes, different directions. I like the look of the different direction strokes, uh, brush strokes um, when I'm doing backgrounds. But if you want a smoother looking background, you can do long straight strokes, whether they're vertical or horizontal, kind of like this, if I wanted to do long, uh, if you want, if I want the background to be nice and smooth, I would just do long vertical strokes like this. Or vertical, uh, horizontal, those are horizontal strokes and these are long vertical strokes, right? Either one will work. But this long, that make, makes for a smoother background. But this here makes the process go by a little faster for me. And I like the look of this for this kind of a painting. You also notice I work kind of quickly when I'm doing this. Some people like to take their time, and that's fine too. I'm so used to painting that, you know, I can go pretty quickly. So I'm going to go through this, fill all the background in, and then I will go through and see if anybody has any questions or comments. But absolutely, if 
Do not be shy. And then put your comments. Put your comments in. Also, folks, what other animals would you guys like to see? Hey, Michelle, sorry, I don't know if I asked you. Did you have fun with uh, Bessie? What'd you think? Is she is she worthy of hanging up? I know you talked about hanging that one up in your new home. And then you mentioned your sisters in Germany, right? And then she uh, did she do Bessie with us, or what? Or did she? I'm assuming she painted with us at one point. What did she paint? Do you know? All right, Jennifer, so this format's a lot better, huh? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to figure out how to do it where I'm using this format. Whoa, almost knocked Vincent over. Where I'm using this, this format, but somewhere in the video, a little picture in picture, you can see, you can see me, you can kind of see um, a little picture of me somewhere, a video, a small little insert with me painting. Uh, you know, I think that would be kind of cool. But all right, so back, we're painting all the background in. Don't worry, folks, if this part of it, if your paint looks a little transparent, especially if you're working with acrylic paint, it can be transparent on this first layer. Try to get it all covered in, right? All nice and uniform and uh, even, etc. But don't stress too much. Sometimes people will sit on one spot going like this, trying to cover up all the white of the canvas or paper or whatever it is that you're painting on. But all you're doing is spreading the paint, wet paint back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And you, depending on the consistency of the paint that you're using, you don't always get a fully, um, even coat where it covers everything up all at once. So what you often have to do is do your first coat, do the best you can of it, and then come back and do another layer afterwards, okay? So just kind of keep that in mind. Don't stress, move along, cover up the, all the outside parts of Vincent, right? The background. Once you've done this, once you're where I am, where you've covered everything up, Kind of look, look all around a little bit, making little touch-ups if you have to, but then move on. You're gonna come back and do another layer over this at some point. You might do it together or you might do it on your own, okay? But the important thing is that you move with me, okay? So once we've done the front of the canvas, and don't worry, I'm gonna give you some time to fill, fill it up if you haven't yet. I just wanna point this out. You wanna do, as an option, you don't have to do it, but if you'd like to, you can do the edges or the sides of your canvas, like this, top, sides, and bottom. Actually, the bottom is optional to do right now. You might, want, you might want to leave the bottom to the very last part, very last part of our whole um, session, okay? The reason for that is if you're painting on an easel and you do the bottom part, you can cause the painting to be glued, to get glued to the bottom of the, of, to the easel itself. So edges, right and left, top. Let me take Vincent a little, to an angle a little tiny bit so I can do the edges. Got a really cool haunted house coming next week. I don't have it here with me, so I can't show it to you. But those of you that are interested that like Halloween, really cool event. Glow in the dark is optional, but 
really, really cool haunted house. It's a lot of fun to do. So for those of you who are into Halloween like I am, it's one of my favorite times of the year. With COVID and everything, I don't know how fun this year's is gonna be, but um, we usually do a haunted house. We've done a haunted house about six years in a row now. I think we missed one year, so six, seven years, I can't remember, at my brother and my sister-in-law's house. But this year, I don't think that's gonna happen. Anyway, doing a really cool haunted house painting next week, next Saturday, so take a look look for that. Look, the, look up the event on my page. We've got a little cutout. For those of you that are doing it with me, please request a cutout. A cutout is important for that one. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to draw the details in it, but I'm not gonna teach you how to draw the whole thing. There we go. So I'm gonna give you guys about two, three minutes. Gotcha. Okay, Michelle. Cool. Andrew Sai says duck. Did you say duck? Like you want to do a duck? Oh, I think that's what you meant. A duck would be cool. Most definitely a duck would be fun. So a duck. I like that one. What else? What else do you guys want to see me do? Oh, for those of you that missed it, last Saturday we did this one. Cool little, this one's a lot simpler. A lot simpler piece. We have glitter, the video's still up. There's a little glitter in there. Really fun piece to do. If you guys haven't caught this one, I teach you how to draw everything and then you fill it all in. And lots of little drawing steps, but really cool and fun piece to do. That was last week. All right, everyone, wrap up that background. We're going to start painting the inside of Vincent. So what I want everyone to do here in just a moment, whatever color your Vincent's going to be, mine's going to be, I'm going to stick with the original colors. So I've got a little bit of brown that I'm going to be using. I'm going to pour some of that out. My brown's being a little stubborn here, so let me get to the bottom. While you guys are getting your paint ready, finishing up that background. Again, folks, try to move with me. Um, I want to make sure you guys don't miss out on any of these steps. Most of these steps you can always go back and uh, do later on, right? As long as you caught the first part of it, you can always go back. So we're going to start painting on the inside of Vincent here. So I'm going to be using some brown and some yellow that I'm going to be mixing a little bit, uh, and then a little bit of white. So brown, I'll show you guys my palette in just a second. Brown white and some yellow. Are you guys getting yourselves ready? I'm putting these paints together on my palette. Okay. Here's my palette for Vincent. For the most of the colors that are gonna be on the inside. There's some black in there also, but I'm not too worried about that. There's a little bit of gray in there too. So uh, this is my palette. Brown, I got some yellow, and I got some, some white. Okay, so here we go. Horse or pig? Yeah, that'll be good. A fox, another good one. Okay, cool. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna start painting Vincent. So got a little bit of brown, got a little, little bit of yellow. I'm gonna mix those two colors together and create kind of a little bit of a gold color. Okay, so mix the two. <clears throat> what we're going to be painting in right now is these little parts of his face. Okay, and there's a few different colors in there that um, slightly different shades of the same color. Also gonna take maybe a little touch of white. And don't worry again, don't necessarily try to match this color exactly. It's just kind of a golden brown that I'm creating, okay? Once I've got that color, I'm simply going to come in 
and paint the inside of one side of Vincent's face. And the color can be a little swirly. I can see all kinds of different um, shades in here, right? Shades in the paint. I can see the different colors in there. In other words, I don't have to perfectly blend these colors together. So I'm just gonna do this to one side of his face. But for some of you, this color might be perfect to leave it just like this, right? You don't have to add any other colors in here, any other shade, it's all up to you. I actually kind of like the way this looks, but, and I'm using, right now I'm using, one of the brushes that I use is this half inch synthetic bristle brush, flat, it's a flat brush. I got this one at, actually I think I ordered this one through Amazon. Amazon, you know what, I take that back, it wasn't Amazon, it was through Doris, I think it was. Doris is a website, it has a bunch of different art and craft supplies, Doris, D-A-R-I-C-E. So I'm just coming through, filling all this in, and then the same thing as the outside. On the first pass, you might not get a perfectly uniform color, you can... You can see some of the white coming through the canvas, so it's uneven, an uneven coat. I'm not too worried about it. Here's what I want you guys to do. Once you've covered all, covered all the inside of both sides of Vincent's face, just maybe take your brush and start painting this, to kind of use downward brush strokes to kind of blend the paint downward, okay? So just kind of follow his face. So that his hair is all seem to be, or his fur all seems to be uh, going in one direction, downwards primarily. Okay, kind of like that. Later on, we'll come in and add some of the highlights and stuff like that. But for now, that's all we want. Once you've done that, you also want to come in and do his double chin. You don't have to necessarily, you don't have to cover up your pencil marks. Because we're using this darker brown, we don't want the pencil marks to disappear. So just kind of go around them a little bit so you can still see them. For now. Later on, we will be covering those up a little bit. See, fairly quickly, this process is fairly fast. There's not a whole lot to it. Just give me some brown color in these areas, and we're good to go. You guys can see my computer here on the side. There's a little delay, right? There's a little tiny delay from what um, what I'm doing here and what pops up on the video. So this is the video feed on the, on the laptop. So I can see your comments come up. But that's what you guys are seeing over here. Okay. So by now you should have this part of Vincent's face all colored in. Okay, what you're going to do next we're going to cover the body, all of his body in, in this brown, okay? Um, we got that part of his throat where we penciled that in. Just leave a little tiny space in between your brush strokes. You can still see it. So that later on, we can come in and color that in in an, uh, a darker color, et cetera, so we can stand out. So you guys are noticing, because I did the pencil marks so light, when we did the little cross pattern at the beginning. I don't have to come in here and erase it. I can simply cover up those pencil marks 
with paint and they go away. If you're doing a lighter Vincent, like let's say these colors for Vincent are lighter on your painting, you might see the pencil, art, pencil lines come through and you might have to do more than one layer, two or three layers sometimes to get rid of those. The other option, you guys can do it, might be a little too late for some of you, I don't think so. You might want to come in there, go in there and then um, erase those lines first. So you don't have to worry about it. I'm just using these downward brush strokes for now and when I do the back I do kind of follow the direction of Vincent's body so my brush strokes go back at an angle and then they turn downwards as I get towards his rump or the back part of his body. Again folks don't stress too much about this whole thing. Have fun even if in the end you know, create something that you really like, you probably, and not probably, you will have learned something and your skills will improve. Okay, so. And then please folks, don't forget, I know a lot of, it seems like I've, I'm losing some of you during the process and it could be that you guys are, you know, not able to finish. You guys caught, caught the first part live and we'll come back or whatever. Send me pictures of your stuff, okay? I'd like to I like to see what you guys paint with me. So please buy a messenger here. I'm painting with Jesse. Send me pictures of your stuff. I like seeing what you guys do. Again, this is the first layer <clears throat> for his coat. We're going to come back and add more layers over this. Slightly different colors, so don't stress. Don't stress too much about your paint being transparent or uneven, etc. Okay? Don't want you guys freaking out about that because there's no reason to. And then right now you can go right ahead and add Vincent's little tail. You're gonna find a little spot right where the rump starts to turn downwards. Little tail does this, curves up, comes back down. And of course, I'm just doing this in with, uh, with my brush, same little brush that I was using. You can also go with a skinny or a smaller brush <clears throat> so you can have more control. Okay, you can also switch over to a smaller brush. There we go, just like that. So I'm gonna give you guys a couple minutes to get caught up with that and then we're moving on, okay? I'm gonna take the brush. If any of you are new to acrylic painting, I have a cup with water in it. In between steps, I leave the brushes that I'm using floating in water or sitting in water so they, they don't dry out on me. Acrylic paint will dry out really quickly or will dry really quickly and it can ruin your brushes. All right, all right. Give you guys a couple minutes to get caught up and we're moving on.
All right, everyone. While you're here, and if you have some yellow there handy or whatever color you've got for the eyes, we're going to go ahead and fill that in. So I'm switching over to a slightly smaller brush. Same thing, synthetic little bristle brush, about a quarter inch. The smaller the brush, the more control you have. I'm just going to take a little bit of yellow, and I'm going to fill in those eyes. You can go around the pupil if you'd like, but I'm not worried about that for now. I can always come back and add in some black for that. So I'm just going to fill that in. There we go. Boom, just like that. Run to it, little layer of yellow. And then we'll come back later, of course, we're gonna be outlining everything. But we'll do that and we'll move along. A couple of things to notice. If, you're, if you did the top half first where you colored in the brown and you moved down, <clears throat> acrylic paint dries very quickly. My paint right here is already pretty dry. Okay, so that's what we want. All right, moving on here. We had some shading up in Vincent's face. Okay, so I've got this yellow, and I've got my original brown that I put right in here. It's gonna take a little bit more yellow. I'm gonna bring it over, and I'm gonna mix that into a little area up in here so I get a really light version of this brown that I just made. I'll also take a little bit of white and add that as well. So again, all I did was take a little yellow, bring it over and add it to my original brown mix that I had for the back for his face. If you ran out of that color, just make some more by adding a little bit of brown but this time you're going to have a lot more yellow so you can lighten up the color. Okay, and then take a little touch of white if you want to lighten that up too. What we're going to do with this color right now is just going to come in, again using my little quarter inch brush, a little smaller brush for more control. I'm just going to come in here and rather quickly come in and work in some of this color. And I can bring that all the way down towards the bottom of his chin. When you do this, because you're overlapping it over another color, this right now starts to create a little, get a little more solid. The color in here is a little more solid. It doesn't require a lot of blending. I'm gonna go up above the eye a little bit. I'll come over. And just like that. Just like that. Then I'll come over and do the same thing on the other side. Above the eye, bring it down. That's all the way down. By now, so now Vincent's starting to look more like a, more like a uh, goat. These kind of shading, these kind of these kind of markings are, you know, pretty common in goats. So your eyes will start to, by shading in the right colors, your your right patterns, your eyes. Oh gosh, I hope I didn't lose anybody. Didn't lose anyone. I hope I didn't lose anybody. Please say hello if you are. Uh, let me know if the video if the video stopped for a moment. Video stopped on it for anyone. Let me know. Oh man, it looks like it looks like it might have. How long was I out for? <clears throat> Sorry, folks. Did you guys? Okay, it stopped. Uh, how? Okay, so listen, listen folks, really quickly. Okay, good, good, good. So listen, I'm going to take a quick minute. I've got to make an adjustment to, oh goodness, okay. So I got a little message on my, uh, on my computer here. Here's what I did, I'm just gonna recap this really quickly. What I just did, I took some yellow, brought it over to the brown, mixed it in really, really well, okay? So I got a lighter yellow color. And then what I did is I went in here on our head and I, I made these, I added this new shade to both sides of Vincent's head. 
Okay? Came all the way up on both sides. I came around his eyes. So on both sides, that's what I did. I'm going to go through this rather quickly because in a moment, I'm going to stop the video and I've got to make an adjustment and I'm going to start it back up. It's not going to take me very long. Maybe three, four minutes to do what I have to do and then I'll be back. So it might take me about five minutes for you guys to have to refresh and come back and you'll see me come back on. Okay, don't worry about it. You guys are going to be working on what I'm showing you right now. I'm going to be creating this yellowish color around these markings around his eyes are going to come down around Vincent's eyes and then come in here like this under the chin. Color this in a little bit. Okay. Then I'm going to leave you guys at that point. I'm going to leave you guys at this point. I'll be right back. Okay, I will be right back. Please come back. Refresh your screen in about five minutes. And if you don't see me back in about five minutes, just do it again. I will be right back. Okay.